Radhe Radhe everyone today i have invited Ayush Khandelwal who have recently cracked the job of a data analyst at Deloitte which is a big four firm you all know we will discuss about his journey so far his job hunting strategies plus the current market situation all the important interview questions which you need to prepare for before attending any data analyst interview plus the salary which one can expect in this role so do watch this video completely till the end so let's start the video and before that please do hit the like button of this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs all right so ayush can you introduce yourself first please yeah hi shashank thanks for having me so my name is ayush khandelwal and uh, i am from agra my current working location is noida and uh, if i talk about my schooling then i did my schooling from st mary's convent school agra and i have done my engineering from uh, jaipur engineering college and research center jaipur and if i talk about my professional journey then i started tcs back in 2021 and i worked there for 3.8 years and recently i joined uh, deloitte so yeah that's uh, the professional journey so far and what are your skill set so if i talk about my skill sets then th- these includes python sql power bi excel machine learning and i am currently exploring the field of generative ai so i wish how is the job market now how many interview calls you received and what were your jump job hunting strategies which you implemented so yeah if i talk about the current job market right now then uh, it's uh, like there are lots of jobs uh, out there and if you follow the right strategy then definitely you can crack multiple offers even at even at the product based company you can crack the offer for example uh, i used to update my nokri profile ev- every day between 9 am to 10 am or between uh, 6 pm to 7 pm because what i noticed is that in the morning between 9 am to 10 am the recruiters are active at that time and your chances of receiving the call from the recruiter will increase by doing that because uh, i also used to receive four to five calls every day by following this strategy also like you don't apply to the jobs blindly you have to tailor your resume with the job description what they have so this will also increase your chances of getting selected and uh, i would also say that if you are on linkedin then you can also like cold message them don't just say that hi i am looking for tell them your background and tell them what you are looking for tell them your skill sets and then that will also help you might not receive the response from every person but if you will keep emailing them uh, like uh, keep emailing 10 persons then definitely you will get one or two responses and that will also increase your chances so yeah uh, that was my strategy so overall how many interviews uh, you gave so if i talk about my interviews then around uh, 20 interviews i gave and i cracked four offers okay great so particularly you use nokri and linkedin no other platform right yeah i only use nokri and linkedin and how to deal with notice period if you have some kind of two months or three months notice period yeah how did you so, yeah that, that so yeah that difficulty actually i also faced but uh, what i did was i uh, like used to tell them that my notice period was uh, 45 days or 60 days instead of 90 days because tcs had tcs had a notice period of 90 days so if you tell them that 90 days is your, is your notice period then it will definitely strengthen your chances of getting selected or getting uh, getting your resume screened so what i did was i told them that my notice period is 90 days but it can be it can be shortened to 45 days negotiable uh, because i have uh, yeah i have good rapport with my manager and hr so this way i think you can get an interview call and after once you get selected then you can tell them that uh, it will be increased and it will be in 90 days i think there is no problem in that now let's talk about your experience at deloitte how was the interview experience how many rounds happened and what all things they discussed in the different interviews uh, yeah so if i talk about my interview experience then there are total four rounds in uh, four rounds first was the phone screening round which was around 5 to 10 minutes where they check the basic skills in python and the power bi and the second one was a technical round which was around uh, i think 1 or 1 and a half hour where they tested uh, you in python and power bi so in python they were basically focusing on pandas and 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 core python like people used to ignore the basic knowledge like list uh, tuples those things they used to ignore so these things i uh, was getting asked uh, apart from this in pandas i was asked about like merge what is merge difference between merge and join concatenate and uh, different other things in power bi if i talk about then it was uh, like totally scenario based like they had given me uh, one scenario and i need to solve that so 
this was basically and then third round was a managerial round where uh, they asked us basic questions like how will you uh, how will you like change yourself in this era of ai how will you upgrade yourself and what will you uh, what will you bring to the uh, company if if ai is adopted then how will you cope up with that so that kind of things and the last round was a client round uh, where uh, there also they asked me about like power bi and python like these these were the two skills that for mainly asked so i was based on your 20 interviews that you have given what important yeah. questions you would like to share with the audience which they can definitely be prepare before attending any upcoming interviews yeah. so uh, i have curated a list of frequently asked sql interview questions that i faced in my interviews so first one uh, talked about uh, with successful multiple purchases in last one so it is talking about uh, how much you are uh, like competent in the date functions if you can use them or not so this one talks about that and if i talk about the second problem then this is uh, this talks about the update function like suppose you have a table and you have to update the price of all the products in electronics category then there they are checking uh, if you are comfortable using update and where clause if i talk about problem 3 then this is the most important that i faced in like almost all the interviews which is the result of left right inner and full outer join you will be given two tables and they will ask you the result so they here they are checking the concept of joins if you are competent in joins and if i talk about uh, problem 4 then it was a basic like uh, aggregate functions and group by function this was uh, checking this okay. and this one is also important sql order of execution uh, they uh, they like here they are testing if you know like what you are really doing which query will be execute executing first and which one will execute after that and uh, this one uh, is also based on the where clause and self join if you are aware of the self join or not okay and yeah if i talk about problem 7 then it is same like date date functions you should know date functions pretty well and this one is uh, second high salary this one is basic they they are checking if you know rank or dense rank or if you know limit uh, by using this you can uh, find the second high salary and this one also focuses on the date function if you know the date function uh, well or not and this one also talks about the self join if you are aware of the self join or not so basically uh, like these are the kind of questions that i faced in sql and if i talk about power bi then and friends if you want to learn the data analyst demanding skills which includes power bi advanced excel sql python tableau microsoft fabric with data engineering concepts as well as very important ai automation then i would recommend you to go for code basics data analytics bootcamp the bootcamp price is very affordable and at the same time the quality of the entire course and bootcamp is very good that i can assure you of at the end of the bootcamp you will be also provided with two authentic virtual internships which you can include on your resume to especially as a fresher or a person with a career gap after 4 plus months of consistent hard work you will be job ready in the market and basically you will be becoming a ai enabled data analyst this is the brilliant bootcamp to go for i will provide the link of this bootcamp in the description box of this video please do check it out they have asked theoretical questions but i have noted down the scenario based questions because in most of the interview mm -hmm. they will uh, test you with a scenario to check if you have if you only have knowledge of theory or you have practical uh, uh, like experience also so if i talk about the first one then it will test your knowledge on time intelligence functions if you are aware with that that is the most important thing time intelligence function mm -hmm. this one is using an active relationship suppose you have two tables and uh, you have one date uh, linked to the, the another date but you have to use another date in your calculation so that is uh, testing your Uh, functionality on use relationship if you know about use relationship or not and if i talk about problem 3 then this is uh, checking your understanding on rank function or top n function if you are aware about it and if i talk about this then this is also the same uh, the time intelligence function so these are the most important time intelligence rank functions uh, you have to be fully aware about them this one uh, like talks about i forgot <laughs> uh, that feature but yeah this one also talk about dynamic uh, dynamic if you want to dynamically change the x axis of a visual so this one is talking about that is it related to field parameters yeah 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 field parameter okay. so this will also check the understanding if you are being updated about the latest power bi updates or not and this is handling many to many relationships like if you have two tables and there are many to many relationship then how will you handle it what what strategy you will follow and 
if I talk about problem seven, then it is uh, like performance optimization because in the real world scenario, we usually deal with like millions of rows. So how will you deal with that and how will you optimize the performance? Then this is row level security. So this is also really important. And drill through and drill down is really important. Suppose if the manager or CEO wants to see uh, the sales by state, city and store, then you have to be aware about drill down and drill through. And also this one is also really important because each company has different fiscal years, right? So uh, they want to check if you can implement, uh, if you can make a table where you can uh, like uh, create this fiscal years and how you can implement this MTD, QTD and YTD. Okay, thank you so much, Ayush, for sharing these all the scenario based questions uh, which you have yeah, faced in your different you. interview. Yeah. Uh, friends, if you want, you can make a note of it from the screen. Or if you want this uh, to be provided, uh, like if you want the link to download all this, so let me know in the comment box. If if you want it, just comment yes. I will then uh, provide it in the in the form of a link, and then you can download the these different documents which he has created. Yeah. Else, you can make the notes out of it. Thank you, Ayush, for that. Okay, Ayush. So, uh, can you tell the audience how is the job market from the salary point of view? How how much a data analyst or a Power BI developer can expect in the market right now? So it it depends on the experience, but uh, if one has an experience of three years then he can expect salary in the range of 9 to 12 LPA uh, for, for these big four companies or for the service-based companies. And if one is targeting product-based company, then he can expect around uh, 15 to 20 LPA for three to four years of experience. All right. Thank yeah. you so much, Ayush, for sharing all the important things which you have faced so far. This will definitely help the audience who will be watching this video. Yeah. And thank you so much again for coming and sharing your knowledge to the audience. Yeah. Thank you, Shishan.